Everybody wants to blow my shit today. I gotta start. Hey guys. Yeah. It's your boy Zilla. Back again. It's the 18. We all here, man. Let's go. I should've known from the first time that I came more this shit is over. I'm a I started from the bottom, now I'm trying to reach to the top, so I know I gotta I keep pushing it harder and harder, but I know sooner or later that I'm gonna I got the top spot right on my cross there, so when I have it on lock, I'm staying there Yes. So let's get right into it, I'm going to be using Dermacel to just moisturize my face I don't use a moisturizer, because it's like buying too many products I'm not even, I'm not going to do my eyebrow on camera because they take too long so but i'm hopefully going to be coming out with a video that shows you updated eyebrow routine i just make sure it's fully in there and then i use well, let me not try to talk while i swear i'm just recording everything in the month of october for now i'm just drying my face this is the mario Badescio. Facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. It's my go-to thing. It's a new thing I've been trying. It's not really new, but it's new to the channel. So I definitely will be picking this up again soon. It just really wakes my face up, and I love it. Bon appetit. All right, so I'm going to do my eyebrows, and then I'll be right back. So I take about two to three minutes to fully blend in my foundation. Um, I really like when it doesn't look patchy. So I've been recently just taking that time out to do that. Um, today I'm using the e.l.f. 106 foundation swirl brush. And I'm using the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse 180 um, Cocoa for my foundation, as well as the RK by Kisses 3D Contour Artist Palette in powder, medium dark. I'm using the darkest shade right now to, you know, contour, make those cheekbones pop, even though I pretty much have really big cheekbones as it is. I just think that it's never too much. Um, I've been also using a new concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me and Deep Front. Um, I used to not use a cream concealer for my face. I used to literally just um, contour with the powder, but recently I've been pulling out all the stops from my cheekbones, so I've been loving looking snatched. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm wetting my sponge because I really like how it draws the product out and makes it look more realistic. And you know, it kind of, the sponges kind of have like little holes. So it makes it look like, you know, your pores and your skin. Also take a long while to blend this out as well. It doesn't really look like it by the video because you know, it's sped up and shit, but you know, um, those have been my favorite products lately, especially the um, 106 Foundation Brush by e.l.f. Just loving it, loving it. Um, and that concealer, I go back in and I've been really focusing on the tops of my cheekbones just to make my face look more slim. Um, I've been watching YouTubers saying about that. I'm going in with the LA Colors Concealer. LA Colors Contour Sticks. And I'm going in with the dark for the contour and then the light for, you know, the highlight. Um, I put those on the screen for you to see. You can get them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Going back in into 3D Contour Artist Powder Palette by RK by Kisses. Um, and using the lightest shade to, like, not really bake, but um, go under my underarm eyes. Not underarms, Jesus Christ. Oh, and 
yeah just be careful with that don't get in your eye and then i go with a medium shade for cutting out my cheekbones i don't know if you guys saw that here's me showing you and then i'm going in with the wet n wild mega glow highlight powder in crown of my canopy um i really love this as like a dewy look for my dark skin it looks like more dewy than it does um i don't know like stark i hate when you know melanated people just be wearing these stark ass highlighters and trying to make it look realistic um i've also been loving artisan color baked bronze not bronzer late baked blush in warm berry i've had this for years um it will always be in my collection because it's just that good it's by um black radiance and I don't know if you've seen, but I wet the brush before I put that onto my cheeks and I go over the bridge of my nose um, because it just looks more like, you know, Marie Antoinette-ish, like blushed out for my dark skin. And I go back in and wet my finger to go back in with that um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Crown of My Canopy. Um, just so it can be, you know, on top of the blush as well as underneath. So it kind of looks like more blended out. And then I'm going back in with that um, Fit Me Maybelline um, concealer for just my um, base for my eyeshadow um, and deep front. Um, and then I went back in with the dark LA colored contour stick. Um, for my base before I jump into this Urban Decay Born to Run palette which has been my go-to and my favorite palette for neutral looks. Um, that whole top row is just my go-to's, you know, for like my you know, crease and everything. Um, I've been using the color Baja for my crease because I really love that. Um, that's what I started off with. It just looks so fall and leafy and earthy. So then I also go in with the color Good As Gone um, here. Just blend those together. And then also with the color Jet, which is the black of the palette. Um, just because I'm darker toned and I don't use a lot. So I just keep blending it, keep blending it. Um, and then I go back in with the Baja um, on the outer corners to kind of give it that gradient look. I've been really loving that um, blown out like editorial look. Like that's just elegant and glam to me. Then I'm going in with not really a cut crease, but just, um, I don't know, uh, lighting my, I'm lighting my uh, <laughs> eyelids, Jesus Christ. I'm lighting my eyelids um, to make them look, you know, more bright and weak. Um, I'm going in with my favorite, favorite, favorite go-to. Um, what is this? This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lash Multi Effects. It's just the perfect for like if you're not wearing any fake lashes, which I wasn't trying to do with this because I wanted it to be natural glam. Um, I don't know why I didn't put this in, but that was a e.l.f. Um, black liner. And this is Extreme Plump Sexy Mother Pucker and a mixture with the... Um, LA Colors Bitter Gloss and Champagne Bubbles. Um, I just love that combination for like a natural glam. I'm wetting my brush and going back into the palette with the color Big Skies and that's the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Um, I know it's kind of rushed. I'm new at this whole talking over bit but 
I really think that it came out cute and I could wear this every day if I wore makeup every day, but I don't. So I hope you like this. Follow, like, comment, subscribe to your girl. Bye.